welcome back uh, before I go forward with this video let's see if we can capture a sound of fresh comic books if you are lucky enough to start collecting comic books in the early 80s late 70s even mid 70s that is a sound of a fresh comic books i love hearing that sound that's where the fresh ink of the splash page and the interior cover um, allow the splash page and the interior cover to stick together so when you first open the book you hear that sound of page separation i love that um, long ago when i had a chance to buy a big to buy a big uh, collection of bronze book i was lucky enough to got a ton of red sanja book and i have seen so many i kept a few duplicates to enjoy um, but the purpose of this video beyond just demonstrating the freshness sound that you just heard is the focus on Frank Thorne um, he's definitely one of those artists that did a very few work in comic books but I think he is absolutely fantastic and it is a shame that uh, he did not stick around and do more work on comic books. Uh, here is number one Marvel feature. Now this book is not drawn by Frank Thorne, but uh, since we are talking about uh, the Red Sanja series, I figure I might as well include it and maybe somebody out there can help answer one nagging question I have regarding this book so here's my beautiful Marvel feature number one I bet you can tell right away who did the cover based on the way the art is it's Jill Kane so that's my beautiful copy inside as you can see the first half of the book is a story that is drawn by Dick Giordano, okay? And then the one that I would like someone to help me with, if anyone out there that watched this video know the answer is, I would like to know who drew the second part, the second story, because I can tell you. So this is, as you can see, the end of the first um, half of the book okay and then let's take a look the art is not bad uh, Dick Giordano you know was okay not bad at all actually but then this is the, the other story that I am curious as far as who is the artist because I cannot find the credit at all it's beautiful let me give you a close look it has a new Adam ish beauty but it's definitely not new Adam as you can see look at that the intricate details of every panel is beautifully drawn I just have no idea who this artist is it's definitely not Frank Thorne so if anybody happened to watch this video and know who this wonderful artist is, please let me know. Look at this beautiful shot of Conan and Red Sanja. But it is absolutely beautiful, you know. I, uh, if you have a chance to take a look at this book, just look at the beautiful detail. Gorgeous.
you know, a lot of time when you look at all this work on really small pictures, you don't really see a lot of good detail. In fact, uh, often you see bad details. But if you look at these drawings, even when you have a small panels, it is just look at that. See that right there look new Adam ish. So it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love this issue for the second half part because if you're a fan of beautiful drawing, I can guarantee you, you can't say anything bad about the second half of this book. Look at that beautiful drawing. Gorgeous. Anyhow, so that's number one. It's not a Frank Thorne production. Let me put this away. Over here. So Frank took over from number two. And here's my number two, as you can see. One thing for sure, if I have to describe Frank Thorne's style, he remind me a lot of Joe Kubert when it comes down to drawing style. I would not say that he copied Joe Kubert's style. You know, that, that wouldn't be fair. But he remind his style remind me of Joe Kubert with one exception. He draw women much better than Joe can. Okay. If you look at the way he drew Red Sanja, you and, and if you are familiar with Joe Kubert, you probably will agree with me that he can draw women much more sexy and beautiful compared to Joe. Joe is great. Make no mistake, I love Joe, but I don't think Joe is ever that good at drawing beautiful women. Nothing wrong with that, but so take a look at this one. So this is Frank, as you can see. Uh, on some of these issues, Frank Thorne also did uh, all, three, all three duties as far as drawing, inking, as well as coloring, okay? So, look at that beautiful drawing. Gorgeous. So, he's very talented, and it's no doubt, you know, if you have this kind of drawing style, it's not easy for other people to ink you. You know, it's just like Joe Kubert. I'm sure Joe Kubert is not that easy to ink. And um, it's not, you know, it won't be easy to find people that would mesh well with his style. So Frank, you know, he did his own inking in everything that he did. But it's beautiful. It doesn't hurt that on every page you have a lot of the color red because, you know, her hair is red. Her lips is always red. So you have a lot of vibrant colors. Look at that. There are just so many wonderful drawing. As you can see, that's a beautiful drawing right there. Like I said, I can easily sit through here and waste a lot of time. But So that's number two. And look at this beautiful cover. It's number three. Beautiful. Once again, he did uh, his own inking. You can't help but enjoy uh, the book really. I, I am a big fan and I would highly recommend those that like this kind of genre like in Conan. I think uh, you know you definitely will enjoy the Red Sanja series. I have not looked at uh, the recent series but uh, for sure I have seen a lot of beautiful covers uh, in the newer stuff very sexy, beautifully drawn Red Sonja. Perhaps my favorite Marvel feature that Frank Fawn drew as far as cover is this one here. Number four. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Look at 
absolutely my favorite cover. This gorgeous, beautiful book too. And um, you know, so you know, uh, I try not to make a video too long by flipping through every single book. So uh, here's my other copy that I demonstrate the sound of fresh comic books. And real quickly, here's number five. Like I said, it's it helped that her hair is red, so you know the cover is always very vibrant, and it's always uh, showcase her wielding her sword, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Let's look at number six. Very sexy pose right there. A real fun series to read for sure, and these are fairly inexpensive. Um, you know, you can get you know the whole thing from one to seven in high grade, and you know, pay maybe even not even fifty bucks. So they're not uh, outrageous as far as price. And last but not least is number seven, where you have her fighting with Conan and it's with all the other covers Frank always have her in um, an action shot beautiful but so that's my one through seven of Marvel feature with uh, Red Sonja beautiful book but before I go I just want to go real quick on um, the work that he did. So after he left Marvel Feature, you know, of course, he jumped over and worked on the Red Sonja separate title. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous drawing of number one. How it can't be any more sexy than that picture. Gorgeous, beautiful. Like I said, beautiful. And look at this beautiful splash page. Look at that. You can't help but be impressed and as you can see once again he did everything. The men have a lot of talent. Unfortunately not utilized enough by comic books company. And so here's a few more. Here's number two as you can see. And number three, um, I believe Frank Thorne is still alive today. Uh, I think he is in his 70s, but, uh, you know, he's still alive. And, um, you know, it'd be nice to see if he ever hit the convention scene so that I can get uh, some of these books signed because I would love to have that for sure. I love this cover also. It's beautiful. Anyhow. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and for sure I hope you have a chance to check out uh, these books by Frank Thorne and appreciate uh, his drawing. Thank you for watching. Bye.